The Herald Standard presents the game of the week tonight. Frazier has made it into the playoffs versus Brentwood. The Frazier Commodores hit a bump in the road right away, turning over their first possession. Chris Pierce throws an interception. Return for a touchdown. The bump turned into a rumble strip when Brennan Rager turned over their second possession, leading to a score. Wow, this doesn't look good. But don't worry, Coach Steber will settle them down. And late in the first, Brennan makes a run for it. Stopped at the one. Chris Pierce pushes it through and Joshua Cox kicks it through. It's now a one score game. In the second, Brentwood regains the two score lead. Seconds to go in the first half is fourth and down and Frazier goes for it. And it fails. Not a big deal. It's almost halftime. Unless something like this happens. Keep watching. We go into halftime 28 to 7. In the third, Brentwood hunting from their end zone, blocked by Tyler Gervin. Dalton Kmetz recovers the ball for a touchdown. Unfortunately, the score has already gotten out of control. It's 34 to 13. Brentwood. Frazier would score once more in this game. George Smalley, but it won't be enough. Frazier's impressive season ends 46 to 19. This is Jonathan Guth reporting with Frazier coach uh, Mike Steber. And unfortunately, the Frazier uh, Commodore season did, is coming to an end tonight uh, at the hands of Brent Wentz, 46-19 loss. Now, Coach, um, last year you guys got the semis. This year, obviously, with realignment, I mean, I, I would think you would agree probably tougher competition this season. But still, you know, you get to the playoffs. I mean, you hang in there and just uh, uh, turnovers kind of and some bad bounces just kind of snowballed a little bit. Yeah, for sure. I mean, def definitely tougher competition uh, this year. You know, every week was more like a playoff game. Um, you know, proud of our kids for um, for playing. You know, good hard football uh, against better teams, against a good team like tonight. It's really tough to overcome those turnovers and, and um, you know get back in the win column. And and the and I think um, you know with with that the kids you know really not saying obviously last year you won a won a conference and, and earned your playoff spot, but you can really feel good about you know coming through week after week and 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 getting in the playoffs, right? I mean, it, I guess I could. My, my point is, it makes it feel pretty good getting in there. Yeah, I mean, nobody feels good about losses, yeah. you know, for sure. I mean, you, you go out there trying to win every game. Um, you know, that, what I can be most proud of, you know, especially with this senior group, uh, when they came, came in as freshmen, um, expectation was, you know, they're, we're going to try to make a playoff game. You know, by the time these seniors left here, um, you know, they had a conference championship under their belt. They had playoff wins under their belt. And, um, you know, they came here with expectation to win, you know. So that was uh, a milestone that they created, and they really set the bar high here for uh, for Frazier. You know, we had, we had tough breaks, and uh, it, it's tough to, uh, once again, overcome those turnovers and, and, uh, and plays against good football teams. And definitely uh, they're glad for, um, since you've came, come, taken over, that, you know, the program's on the rise. A lot of the community was here, and um, obviously nowhere to, I mean, this isn't the end of course you know uh get ready uh you know and and start next year right <laughs> yeah yeah we're gonna we're gonna get to work you know the, the players um i'm sure they're already talking up there about what they can the seniors were already passing down to the younger kids i heard them talking immediately after the game um you know work harder lift harder run harder you know, do everything you can to get back here and try to move on and, and do better than what we did this year so proud of the seniors for setting that setting that bar high and really passing down that those leadership roles to those younger kids and uh, just one point of emphasis on the game from uh, the opponent you played. Um, they had a player, uh, Dorian Bowie, very dynamic. I mean, receiving, running. I mean, kind of an all package. They said he has some offers. Um, yeah. Was that? Well, how would you just ass the way those guys were back there scrambling? I mean, a mm -hmm. uh, lot of lot of athletes. How would you assess though 
those kids just just from a oh, opponents. Yeah. yeah, talented. I mean, not not just five, you know, but there were there were some others. I mean, but he was uh, you know an excellent player. We knew that coming in. We knew that he would be um, one that we would have to stop tonight um, in order to beat this team. And uh, you know, credit a lot of credit to him. He really. Um, you know, even knowing that, you know, he still made plays. So, um, and he wasn't the only one. You know, they did a nice job tonight. All right, Coach. Well, thank you for your time and congratulations.